Hey, this is Travis and I'm with the Cleco booth at the Air Power Vendor Expo 20, 2022 in Pinehurst, North Carolina. I have two guests with me at the Cleco booth. I have Jim and I have Scott. And they're gonna walk me through some products here at Cleco. Uh, we did a really cool podcast with Cleco in, 2000, in 2021. Um, and it, it turned it, it was fantastic we went through a lot of different pro a lot of different the tool lines um, transducerized uh, it, 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 it was great uh, we did some videos this year on equipment like the M pro 300 uh, some training videos so they're actually back with us at our vendor Expo and who wants to go first Jim, Jim. <laughs> All right. what do you want to talk about, Jim? You take me anywhere on this table. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we're supposed to focus on our cordless. I'm Jim Tragus. I'm the app specialist for the southern half of the U.S. Uh, I've worked with Air Power for quite a few years. A lot of your tool guys. A lot of projects. But uh, our cordless offering uh, will go from high end down uh, as we go down. But our newest uh, is the Celtec which is a redesign of our original offering, Live Wire. So you can see a significant difference between the two tools. Battery, uh, all our cordless tools now run on a Milwaukee uh, battery platform at 18 volt. So it's a lot sleeker, a lot lighter. A lot, lot lighter, those package. batteries can add a lot of weight. Yes, yes. So this is the high-end cell tech. The uh, I, uh, transducer is the most accurate. Uh, a lot of accessories we can attach, gyroscopes, uh, uh, scanners to the tool, so it makes the tool much more flexible in the manufacturing environment. Now, this one is for very, this This is what you want to be looking at for very specific torquing requirements, right? Primarily what the automotive industry would call safety critical. Yep. So, yes, brake lines, seat belts, seat belts yes. Yes. seats yes. themselves. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. What would be considered a safety critical. Perfect. Okay. And then the Man, next... I, I'll tell you what, I am really impressed with the difference of that battery weight. It's it's pretty it's pretty significant. Oh yeah, it's a big difference. Big difference. Uh, is that any difference on life of the, the uh, of operation with the change in the battery? That's something that's hard to tell because of different usages. You know, True. you got a long run down cycle, you got a short run down cycle, you got it. That's what we'll call it even for right now until yeah. it, it's a it's a shop to shop. Right, right. Change. Customer okay. to customer. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go with Scott. Scott. Hi, Hi. Scott Lesher. Products. I'm territory sales manager for Fluco Production Tools. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, Jim just talked about our, our cell tech. Uh, next step down will be our cell core product line. So you got the pistol grip, right angle. Again, the Milwaukee battery platform. Anything that uh, has the M18 batteries can be used in our uh, latest wireless tools. Uh, you can go up and amp, uh, the amp hours. This is the uh, two amp hour. This is the five amp hour. Of course, when you get up in amp hours, the more amp hour your amperage you have, the more time you can utilize that tool without the battery. Absolutely. Uh, one of the cool things that we can offer between cell tech and cell phone is you don't necessarily have to have these tools connected to one of our controllers. They have what's called standalone mode. So you can program these tools with 10 applications that are separate from what we can do on the controllers and give you uh, an angle control rundown or torque control rundown. Uh, it gives you more versatility. You can even have uh, data that's stored into the tools, like trace rundowns and all that. You can connect the USB stick to the tool, pull that out, throw it on your laptop, gets us put onto an Excel spreadsheet. And but you, you guys are very advanced with the Internet of Things, as they want, to, as they call it, being able to pull data throughout the plant. Yes. You know, using uh, I don't know, I don't remember if it was Bluetooth or dedicated Wi-Fi, back and forth. We can we can utilize both Bluetooth, both. Okay, both so Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You know, for somebody who's a plant manager or who's in char in charge of tooling, making sure they can be in their office and pull data off of 
that's off, off of every tool that's being used that's linked up with the system and know exactly what's going on. Or if you've got something that's out of out of sync or out of whack, it's not getting maybe maybe it's telling the operator that the torque is perfect, but it might be slightly off. They they can zero in on the, that type of thing very quickly. So from safety concerns for all of us and we all drive cars, we all ride in cars. We'd like to be safe. But we don't so, want the steering wheel falling. So off. those types of technologies really help. So. Yep. All right, Scott, thank I appreciate you, the time with thank you. Thank you for having me. Jim, yes, thank you very thank much. You. We sure do appreciate Clico. All right, hold on, hold on. On to the next booth.